reciprocity. It's like a friendly circle of giving. You do something nice for someone, and often they'll want to do something nice for you in return. It's not a new idea. And, believe it or not, scientists have delved into it extensively. Research studies have shown that reciprocity is a fundamental part of how people naturally behave. For example, imagine you share your candy with a friend, and later they share their toys with you. That's reciprocity. You both help each other out. You give a little. But not every type of sharing is the same. Reciprocity is a big deal that affects how we connect with others. When we help someone, we usually hope that they'll help us back at some point. Studies have found that this back-and-forth way of doing things has a bunch of good points. One exciting discovery is that it can make relationships stronger. Doing something nice shows that you care. And that can build trust and make your bond much stronger. According to a study published in the Journal of Social Psychology, acts of reciprocity can significantly enhance relationship satisfaction and cohesion. Also, being kind to others can make you feel good too. Research conducted at the University of Oxford has shown that when we engage in acts of kindness, our brain releases feel-good chemicals contributing to our own sense of happiness. Reciprocity also builds a network of support. When you're helpful to others, they're more likely to help you when you need it. This support network is like having a team of friends who watch out for each other. A study from the University of California, Los Angeles, found that individuals who engaged in reciprocal exchanges with friends reported higher levels of social support as well. However, there are downsides to reciprocity. Sometimes, giving a little isn't enough. And that's where one issue rises to the top. It might make the person you're helping feel obligated to help you back, even if they don't really want to. That can make them feel stressed out or upset, and it's not good for the relationship. Research highlighted in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology indicates that perceived obligations and reciprocity can sometimes lead to negative emotions. Finding the right balance between giving and getting in relationships can be very tricky. It's really important for reciprocity to work well. Remember, keeping things fair is an ongoing effort that needs everyone to talk and work together. It's like teamwork for kindness. And science has shown that it plays a key role in our social fabric. These are Interesting Things with J.C.